what is up YouTube so I finally got my 99 Mazda Miata MX-5 back I am so stoked to actually have this thing back now beards coming in pretty quickly shaved it like two days ago like into nothing pretty much you stay right there cool got it so i'm at metro don't have anyone to work out with me or film with me today so i'm going in solo and i don't really have a video f to show for that because i don't have my tripod with me and i need to actually order like a big tripod so amazon has like an iphone tripod you can like you can film like vertical and like horizontal and shit like that and i need to get one of those things it's like 20 bucks so it's not it's not super expensive um so that's that so I'll, when i end up going solo like i am today i'll actually have something to kind of help me record it's not like crazy bulky or anything either which is really nice so i can kind of get away with like putting it in pretty obvious spots without it getting in the way of people um and it seems like leg day for some reason i'm always running solo because like the last or not the last leg day video but the leg video before my last one i was in solo on that and i had a and i was setting my phone up with like weird ass angles and i just like couldn't get like what i wanted done and what i wanted to accomplish i mean i still showed you guys what i did but at the same time it was terrible angles so i need to try and figure that out um which would be the tripod but anyways here at metro i'm gonna go get this workout in i can't really record anything because i didn't bring anything with me like i said previously but we're gonna get it in and we're gonna get it done a little story time since there is no video so this 1999 Mazda Miata, you're probably wondering, like, why did you have it or get it back or whatever. So, about, say, like, a month ago. It's about a month ago. Three, three weeks, maybe. I do, like, three, three weeks, maybe a month ago. I don't think it was quite a month. Let's just say three weeks. So, like, three weeks ago, I was coming up, well, I was coming out of Metro just driving along and then just going straight just chilling going actually under the speed limit because so i'm just cruising along and this one chick pulls out in front of me going into a neighborhood tries to correct herself because she wasn't supposed to turn because i had the right of way and we ended up crashing into each other so i have i mean it's not like astronomical damage but there's a pretty good amount of damage on this thing so um, I had, him, I had an insurance agent like come out, look at the car, and we got all that squared away. And my dad and I had a roll defender, and then I was able to drive it. So initially, since I let the car sit for a while, we thought the battery is bad, and we had to either get a new one or just charge it. And we tried that, and then it just barely started. And then I took it around the block. I was gonna like go to the gym with this thing but i got like around the block almost barely and i was like oh no so i called my dad i'm like it's making a lot of puttering is it like the starter the alternator is like the battery light was on and the alternator actually blew up so we didn't know that at the time but that's what we were thinking so it was either that or the battery so we took the alternator to autozone put it on the board tested it it was fried so ordered another one from ebay and then it came to my house and then i put it on the car with my dad and then now i'm in this thing and it runs even better than ever it idles way smoother and it's just fantastic and i'm really happy to be in this thing again i am still in the process of selling the wrx trying to get that sold pretty quickly and i do like the Honda Civic SI that I drove, um, not not the 2017 or 18 model, whichever one I drove, not that one. I drove a 2014 model that I liked even more. It was a 2.4 in VTEC engine. It was the last naturally aspirated engine. So I really liked that one versus the 2017, 18. And I actually kind of like the body style a little bit more. 
but I'm just thinking of like more ways I can save money and I think what would be more economical for me I've been talking about wanting a like a 2010 2011 Volkswagen GTI uh, they're 200 horsepower with a turbo I've driven one before my buddy had one his was automatic not manual but I would get mine in manual of course because manual transmissions for life unless I did Tesla which I don't know if I would I mean I might eventually but just the fact of like driving an automatic car I'm like <clears throat> so I just love my manual transmissions um, so the gas mileage on a GTI is actually better than a Honda Civic Si so the Si gets a little bit better gas mileage on the highway than the GTI does probably the GTI it's a six-speed both of them the SI and the GTI the GTI probably has higher RPMs than the SI I mean I haven't taken the SI on the highway so I can't really say much on that but that's what I'm assuming since the highway gas mileage isn't as good and plus one has the GTI is a turbo and the SI doesn't so there's just like different factors with that. I know the GTI picks up speed a lot quicker than the SI does. The SI is 205 horsepower, GTI is 200. But I know GTI is faster than an SI, unless you mod the SI just right, then it'll be faster. And I'm just like, why not get something that's not only faster, but also has better gas mileage? Because the SI gets. I think it gets 20, 21, it's like 21 or 22 around town and 35 on the highway. And then the GTI gets 25 city and it gets 32 highway. So the, I don't do an astronomical amount of highway driving. I only do, I mean, if I highway drive, I'm on and then off just to like get to Polaris. So uh, I think, well, the only time I actually do highway driving is on Friday, like highway, highway driving, like Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, of course. Usually every Saturday and Sunday, definitely every Sunday, but that's about it. And what's nice is that, like, my WRX, I have to throw 93 in it, 91 or 93, and with the GTI I can throw 87 in it and it'll run just fine I looked up everything for it so it just it just it seems more just financial friendly to begin with anyway and I love those little bubbles they're really really cool and I, I like the ride and everything in them I've driven I've driven a Volkswagen Rabbit it was like a 2000 and like 2005 or 6 or something like that that was a manual that was what my buddy had so it's it's essentially a gti without a turbo it's a 2.5 uh, not a 2.0 turbo so it's just regular 2.5 which i liked it and it, it picked up speed pretty well that one had like 100 and like 80 horse on that so it moved along pretty nicely so i i was impressed with it and i liked it a lot so i think that's what i'm probably gonna get because like facebook marketplace you can pick one of those things up anywhere between like four to like six grand um and that definitely beats paying like like 10 to 12 grand for like an si uh i mean overall i know like a honda civic si is like a little bit more reliable than a gti but like they're not quite comparable but they're close so but i'm willing to throw like a little bit of extra work when needed on the gti just to get something that i think i would enjoy more so that's just kind of my whole thought process behind that and that's about it so decisions 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 i'm hoping the subaru will sell really fast if any of you are interested in a 2015 subaru wrx you can dm me on instagram at harky underscore fitness or you can find my facebook link just go on the facebook marketplace search 2015 subaru wrx it's silver um you can click on that and you can personal message me on imessenger if you're interested in the car and that's about it so i hope everyone has a good rest of the day this is the video for today and we'll be solid and we'll be straight 
and by the time you're watching this I think it'll be Thanksgiving so I hope everyone has a good Thanksgiving tell your friends and your family that you love them and eat a lot of turkey and pass the F out